Hello, and welcome to another Oracle Policy Automation Brief. Oracle Policy Automation version 10.4 continues the focus on advancement of three key themes, policy analytics, collaboration, and testing and integration and deployment. This brief focuses on one improvement in the area of collaboration and testing by introducing and demonstrating the new feature known as modules. Modules can improve efficiency, security, and manageability in many different scenarios, including those in which multiple teams, perhaps from individual lines of business or geographies, work independently on sections of the policy model and combine their work into a single deployable policy model. A single version of common rules or policies are managed independently and shared across several projects or policy models. Multiple decision-making experiences or interfaces are built from a shared single copy of core determinative rules. Distinct combinations of modules may be combined into multiple policy models to more easily model source material with cross-references to shared policies. And all policy modules support hot swap deployment so policy changes can go live without rebuilding applications or restarting servers. Let's take a quick look at modules within Oracle Policy Modeling. First we'll start by looking at the Income Support Benefit Project. In particular, you'll notice a new folder titled Modules. Expanding the Modules folder, we see an imported module, Rates and Thresholds. Let's look at the Rates and Thresholds project to see how the module was built. In particular, let's take a look at some of the rules documents within the Rates and Thresholds project. For example, the Asset Test Thresholds spreadsheet defines asset thresholds for single individuals as well as partnered individuals. If we look at the data model of the Rates and Thresholds, We see base attributes as well as inferred attributes that are defined within the Rates and Thresholds project. You'll notice at the bottom that there are private attributes that are used only within the Rates and Thresholds project. The base attributes and inferred attributes that are public will be exported along with the module. If we build this project, you'll see a new option, Build Module, instead of building the project as a deployable solution in and of itself. By building the module, we can recompile and continue any modified documents, and the build has succeeded. Returning to the Income Support Benefit project, we see that it automatically detected that the imported module has been modified outside of this project we reload the modified module. If we expand the module we can see which rules or which decisions have been imported as part of the module as well as the entities and attributes that were imported along with the module. For example, the asset limits for both single and partnered individuals. If we look at the rules within the Income Support Benefit Project to see how attributes that have been imported are referenced, for example, within the eligibility document, we see policies having to do with the asset test requirements including setting the applicable asset test threshold based on the asset limit for either a single or partnered person from the imported module. We can build the income support benefit project including the imported modules, just as projects have been built in prior versions of Oracle Policy Modeling. Recompiling any modified documents, and launching the debugger 
just as if this was a complete autonomous project without any imported modules. So to recap, modules enable separated projects for subdividing policy or rule development efforts, sharing policy models across projects, and being able to create distinct deployable combinations of policies, including providing multiple decision-making experiences from common sets of shared policies. To learn more specifically on modules, the Oracle Policy Modeling Help contains multiple topics, and the Project Income Support Benefit ships in the example folders of the Oracle Policy Modeling version 10.4 install. Thank you for viewing this segment of the Oracle Policy Automation Series. To learn more and stay connected with the OPA community, discuss OPA on the Oracle Policy Automation forums, watch more videos on the Oracle Policy Automation YouTube channel, and learn more from oracle.com or find courses on education.oracle.com, as well as research OPA on the Oracle Technology Network.